All right, y'all, so this is a part that's been kicking my butt the whole time. Uh, but I've been working on the transmission trying to figure this part out. If you've, if you've done a shift kit or if you're working on your transmission, the band adjustment, this part right here, um, this is what clamps the, the drum. Um, you want to make sure that's working correctly. Now, I called uh, John from IPT because nobody seemed to either know or, you know, they did know and they just didn't want to give me the answer. I, I don't know. I just hope it would be the the first, uh, you know, that people just didn't know. But uh, trying to figure out the adjustment there, the instructions say to put a drill bit right here between this crack right here. If you can see, hold on, if you can see my little crack there and the servo pin and, and then measure to the adjustment or the uh, travel after you apply compressed air and I have my air gun here you're supposed to apply air to your band apply hole and this moves okay and I was trying to figure out okay why do I need a drill bit in there and uh, you know so I uh, applied air here with and without that drill bit to see what the difference would be and what happens is that little gap that you see in there that'll totally close up if you don't have the drill bit in there okay so you want to keep it from closing up and then this whole pin here when you apply the air is going to move this way okay it'll move that direction okay so what you're trying to do you're trying to measure the travel that it goes this way okay the the directions were kind of vague and it said to uh, measure the travel okay where now you know what what am i measuring um so I called John from IPT, um, awesome guy, definitely uh, helped answer all my questions. I was just trying to ask a simple one, ended up being on the phone for a while. So um, he's, he's made some of these videos as well. So I definitely pre appreciate his knowledge. But um, basically here's what he told me is that, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, generally, you're not having to mess with this whole portion here. Um, you know, there's really no reason to, um, but you know, maybe check it and make sure everything is good. But he did say that if I wanted to check it just to make sure uh, that everything is good, you can make, uh, you know, one way to measure it. And if I can focus in here, if you can see where I'm pointing at, where the pin goes in here, you can scribe a line around the, the, uh, the pin here. And then apply air, and you'll see that scribed line move, or you'll see it as the pin comes out and measure from where the line the scribe line is compared to the case because you're doing it right here in that little crevice right up against the case okay so when you hit the air it's going to move out okay so he, he said it should only move about a sixteenth of an inch he said uh veneer calipers i was trying to figure out what to use um either use some filler gauges i tried to use a, a dial indicator he was saying maybe some veneer calipers something to that effect Whatever gets it done, that's what you're wanting to measure. But since he's saying, you know, if it's working fine before and, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's really shouldn't be a reason to have to, to do all this. But being that I'm making videos to help you people out, um, I at least wanted to cover it. I didn't want to just skip it and then people have not have a clue. So um, he was saying if it's, I believe he said if it's too loose, you'll have a flare up where basically I believe uh, from what he was telling me is the, RPMs jumping up kind of like if you have a slipping clutch in a manual transmission, which is he said is basically the same thing or a Bind where he says it feels like you're uh, dropping an anchor out of the vehicle or something So so you want to have that adjustment correct. So anyway, just wanted to cover it throwing that little tidbit in there I'm about to get it put back together and uh, Start buttoning things up um, One other thing I was trying to think if there's anything else I need to mention I've got my Cover on here, I got all that put back together. That's all done. Um, and the only other things I gotta do um, in regards to it, I've got a, got a gasket coming for this and then I'm gonna put my uh, front differential in there and I've got a gasket coming for this part. And I'll put the cover back on there because that gasket is a paper gasket messed all up and the rubber gasket uh, got pinched somehow. And so I'm, I'm replacing that and I'm gonna have to replace uh, the seal here. I accidentally messed it up and hit it on the installation of the new one. So, um, oh, that's what I want to cover. This shaft in here, um, after everything was buttoned up here uh, on this portion right here, so that it wouldn't shoot out this way, I just put it in there and lightly tapped it with a uh, rubber mallet and I could hear it click in there. Now, how you pull it out, I haven't gotten to that part yet, so I couldn't help you there. 
Uh, if I ever have to pull it apart, I'll address that issue at that time, but right now I don't know. What I will say is to be careful. I don't know if you can see it. Um, hoping it'll straighten out. Fold it over a little bit of the seal, um, putting it in there. So you want to be careful trying to do that so you don't uh, have any leaks or anything. So hopefully that'll be okay. Hopefully it'll just flop back out the way it should be um, when it's all done um, and installed and all. If it's not, well, I'm going to have fun pulling it out and completely tearing it down and doing it all over again. So, But anyway, uh, that's it for this video. I'm going to try and get it all back together, get my um, valve body back on there, button that up, my Jeff Bush... Um, oil pan that i have i'm gonna put that on there um i need a engine mount and that, and then start finishing up the uh, automatic conversion since i was a manual but anyway i hope this helps you guys out um y'all have a good one just holler at me if you have any questions and i'll be more than happy to help if i can uh and also refer john at ipt he was he was a awesome guy to talk to but anyway y'all have a good one